Hello, this is Brandon Rahi coming at you from Go Headquarters, your local resource for all things health and fitness here in St. Augustine, Florida. Today we're going to do two moves. We're going to do a wall sit and side planks. So one of these is going to be a great leg burner. The other one's going to be great for those obliques. Check them out. All right, we're going to get into a wall sit. So I'm just using our basic wall, nothing special about it. You can use a door frame um, or something like that. If you do it against the door, make sure you're, make sure you're working against the frame. Um, what you want to get into is your back is nice and flat up against the wall. I've got my feet about 18 inches away from the wall. What that's allowing is that my thighs are parallel to the floor and my shin is perpendicular to the floor. So we want that vertical shin. My feet are only about hip to shoulder width apart. I'm not doing anything crazy like real wide. I don't want my feet too far forward because now I've lost my vertical shin. So we need the feet tucked in underneath. Two things should be happening. Your hips should be 90 degrees and your knees should be 90 degrees. We're going to hold this for time. So already holding this for this amount of time, my legs are, are burning pretty good right now. Um, we want to keep the heels down. We don't want to go up in the toes. We don't want to try to brace and hold ourselves with our arms. We want to use our, our core strength to keep our chest up and our head back and everything like that. So we're going to hold this for a certain length of time. And uh, when you're done, ready to bail out, come up to the standing position. Give it a shot. Side planks. This is going to be a great move for the oblique part of that midsection and core. Um, this is definitely something I would incorporate into any good routine. We're going to start lying on the floor in a sideline position. We're going to straighten out your body as straight as you can get it, as long as you can get it. My feet are stacked up one on top of the other. If you have balance issues, you could maybe put that top leg out in front if you need to do that. Ideally, they're stacked. On the arm, we have the elbow underneath the shoulder. We do not want the elbow out in front of the shoulder. We want that nice and tucked in. The top arm ideally is going to go on the hip. It can help get you started into position though. So I'm going to do a few reps, show you what a side plank looks like. So my hip is going all the way down and tapping the ground and then I'm coming up as high as I possibly can. If this seems too tough for you or too heavy, this top arm can come down here and help support you a little bit. That's a way to make it easier. Another alternative is to just come up and hold for time like you would do a front plank. Things to think about. We want to maintain that nice, straight, pretty body line. We don't want the knees to bend and for you to get all twisted and contorted and do something like this. We want to be nice and open. Top shoulder is over the bottom shoulder, which is over the elbow, and everything's nice and straight, and then I'm getting as much movement as possible. Right now, I'm working the obliques that are down here underneath me. So I'm gonna do my repetitions on this side, and then of course I'm gonna flip over and do the same setup on the other side. Give that a shot. 